when when that advice was given about well you should just stay how did how did you feel and what was your thought process to continue my, with what you felt was right to do anyway well i said hell no am i staying i'm not <laughs> staying it was like it was like an it was like a really powerful emotion to say hell whatever happens i'm prepared to put up with the concept i suppose this is it this is this is what it is this is the learning if it had failed I was prepared to accept the consequences. So that, that's that, what it is. And I don't think that's really any different than what I was saying about having mitigated and everything mm. else is that, you know, I wasn't eyes closed like, oh, it will just work. It was a big acceptance, but you mm. you accept and you own that consequence and you move ahead yeah. with it. And I think that's the same thing you've done there. And I think, like you said, I think in all times, anything where it's a react, you know, the advice is, you know, you don't emotion react to things you take a step back and you take a breath and you let yourself digest and consider i think there's a lot of merit and gut feel as well yeah and this is how i was feeling you know i knew it was the right decision for me at that time and like you said it's the acceptance of the things that could go wrong and if they go wrong you don't blame anyone else the only person to blame is for you for making that decision if it works out then great we, we can move on and um do you know what and and, and i know I mean, we had this conversation that you know, I felt really empowered when I made it and, it, and I got through it. <laughs> and we had to, we actually had some conversation about it, didn't we? Um, about, you know, whether we, I could hold on a little bit. I said, no, I can't. Do you remember I really, when we had this conversation, if I could hold on a bit? And I said, no, I'm not holding on. And so I think definitely, I definitely think, like you said, bravery in that situation. But I knew that I was going to be, if I stayed in where I was doing, I would have been very, very unhappy and miserable. And I was not prepared. There was, I suppose for me, it's, you, I'm not, I was not prepared to accept that misery. And so it had to happen. And I think yeah. there is that thing of back against the wall. I think I definitely respond better with my backs against the wall when I have to make a decision. If I, if, if things are, I think, you know, I can put up with that, then I'm, I'm not going to make those decisions. And maybe that's something I need to look at or whether I want a radical change. And actually just before the podcast, Lee and I were talking about decision making and there was, I, I'm, I'm thinking about things quite deeply at the minute and I was just speaking to Lee about it. And this is, this is idea that I floated with Lee. But the other thing is I wanted to point out was that we should triangulate with people. We shouldn't not, listen to people and i think the thing is about the listening to people is that doctor that gave my beloved the the the, the, the advice he didn't know anything about me he didn't know the situation he didn't know anything he was giving advice based on what he was told without knowing the context and all the information going behind it he didn't know the situation etc i think that's the danger i think when we listen to people's advice we've got to go to people who have experience in whatever you're trying to do yeah and then you've got to have all the facts and you can't just go when someone says oh do you know i think i should make this decision you need to ask deeper questions and more about it before giving that advice you're going to give it um although we don't do that i mean i've been guilty of that if people ask me do you know oh, i've gone almost gone with the person's story rather than trying to be the devil's advocate and i think you know ryan's not here and, and i know I, I pay him a lot of credit for actually playing that devil's advocate role because he does that really well in the podcast and I think there's a big, big, a big, big advantage for that, where we triangulate. And Ray Dalio, I'm going to mention him again in the podcast yet again. Ray Dalio calls it triangulating. So basically, he says, you think of a decision, what you do, go find someone who's got experience or, or you know who knows about this thing, go ask them, and then triangulate. But don't ask people, because people will give you an opinion, no matter whether they know or they don't. They will. If you say, what do you think about this? You want to help. People want to help. So you will that, you know, people will give that opinion. You're going to yeah, say something. I guess the risk is there, isn't it? Is they either give you an opinion based on what they would want to do, which doesn't necessarily align mm. with, with yourself, or like you said in the story, is you, because you're emotionally invested, you will slant your reasons for doing something. It's not very objective. It's it's led to what you are feeling. And then they might just perpetuate that for you, but because they're getting your lens on the facts rather than that independent view and you've, you've got like you said you've got that risk both ways if you start canvassing that that you're going to get a slanted view uh -huh.